What's good everyone? Welcome back to another EMC. So the last M5 episode, I dropped a big cliffhanger for you guys and I'm sure all of you want to know what is next. What tune we're going to use and how much power we're going to get out of this car. Well, this is a big decision for me because there's a lot of ECU tuning brands out there, a lot of different programmers. Out of the whole entire bunch, I went with Tech Tech for multiple reasons. One, my F90 M5 is my daily driver. I'm not looking to make this car into a race car. I'm not looking to change the turbos or, you know, rebuild the engine, have forged internals. I want this to be a daily driver that's within safe parameters, but has slightly more performance than the stock car. And that was my goal from the beginning. I want it to look better, sound better, drive better, and to be a little faster. A couple years ago, I tuned my 991.1 GT3 with the Tech Tech ECU, and I had great results. I know that tuning your ECU nowadays is actually very, very dangerous and risky. So I wanted to go with someone that had the experience and that had the knowledge and the history. So the F90 M5 has two computers, so we're gonna tune both. And I'm also gonna upgrade the transmission computer, which is the TCU. That's the cool thing with Tech Tech, is that they have their own dyno, they have their own programmers, and they can basically do any type of car. Let me introduce Daniel from Motormax. Hello everyone, how are you doing? We're in 1999, 那那個好,上一個他剛有提到就是說他這台5他是作為你的一個daily drive,那如果要一個穩定,然後一個performance you come to the right place. Right? Just mention we did uh, the software upgrade uh, for the ZF uh, is uh, a speed. Yeah, yes, the ZF speed. Yeah. So if you, yes, if you combine two together, it gives you uh, maximum performance. Yes, maximum performance. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. So uh, let's get this going. Yeah. I have the Super Sprint downpipes right here. Uh, as you can tell, the primary cat has become the HJS 100 cell cat, and the secondary cat has been deleted. You can tell the difference now. And let's see how much it weighs. downpipe saves 1.6 kg, two downpipes, that's 3.2. My math is good. So uh, Daniel has already installed the Super Sprint downpipe right here. As you can tell, there's a big difference. This is the HJS catalytic converter. This is the stock. Um, everything is hooked up to the O2 bums already. Not an easy install. This is a very, very difficult install. And when we're here, actually this is a computer. This is the ECU here and right here. They're gonna get the flash going. So let's let them do their work so they can finish up the other downpipe. While the boys at Motormax are taking a little break, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my carbon fiber accessories. So I love carbon fiber and Auto Technique came to mind. Now Auto Technique is a carbon fiber accessories manufacturer and they're working on the interior of the car right now. But I just wanted to deck this whole car out with carbon fiber inside and out. They just put the grills on. This looks so sporty now. So we have the side vents, including this gill right here. If you didn't change this, you know, this would obviously still be black, but I think this is a nice touch. Obviously it has the M5 emblem right here. I think it just works really well as a total package when you get both pieces. I know most people will just get this, but guys, just, if you're gonna do it, do it right. And obviously we have the carbon fiber mirror covers. 
and I have a carbon fiber antenna, like this shark fin antenna. This shark fin antenna is really cool. Uh, stock, it was just piano black, but I really wanted this to be carbon fiber as well. So I wanna show you guys. Before we had this silver material, I wasn't sure what you really call it. It looked like carbon fiber, but it had some texture to it. It wasn't real carbon fiber. Now, we have the whole shebang. This is all carbon fiber. You know, it just looks so much better now, so much more sporty. I believe it's just a cover. So these pieces are carbon fiber covers. It just goes on top and they glue it down, but it is still real carbon fiber. And obviously the interior trim now, this is fully decked out in carbon fiber. The door trim right here, this is carbon fiber. And they're working on the steering wheel. Uh, now we have the carbon fiber trim here with Alcantara, as well as this battle carbon fiber shifter. This is really badass. The odometer surround right here has become carbon fiber as well. This is a nice touch right here. And uh, oh yeah, on top of the steering wheel, this is carbon fiber too. So once we have the total package together, it's gonna be so, so sporty. And you know what, it just, aesthetically, it makes more sense now. As you can tell, we just finished installing all the carbon fiber pieces for the F90 M5 inside and out. But I just want to give a special thank you and a big shout out to Brian and Jeremy from Auto Technique. We have Jeremy right here, so he's got, he has a few words. Thank you guys. Um, feel free to check us out at autotechnique.com and you can check out all the carbon fiber products over there. All right. So like you said, if you want carbon fiber products for your car, whether it's Audi, Porsche, BMW, or Mercedes, you can go to their link right here. So we're gonna say goodbye to Jeremy and we'll move on with Motor Max. Thank you. Tomorrow. All right guys, so I am back. I'm picking up the beast. Let's start her up because I can't wait to see what it sounds like. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. Mr. Cho, the boss, he sent me a little video clip last night and my goodness, it is a beast. The downpipes, I bet, make such a huge difference. So without further ado, let's start the car up. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, so already, um, it's definitely louder. I can definitely hear the noise of the Super Sprint exhaust. Uh, now it's warmed up, calmed down, um, it's idling. I'm gonna close the door. Now let's go to sport mode. And the valve's off. Wow, I hear a little pop with the sport mode. Okay, now, I'm gonna go to Sport Plus mode. Sport Plus mode with the valves off. Whoa! <laughs> that is fucking crazy. That is more like a bazooka, all right? It's like a fucking cannon. It's not a machine gun anymore. Wow, one more time. I hope Roy's okay. <laughs> that is ridiculous. We are gonna go for a drive and I'm gonna test the car out, break the car in a little bit, and then we're gonna go get a dyno and see how it is.
That was really ridiculous. It got kind of crazy. We actually got a really interesting result. Yes, we did gain some power, but we gained massive, massive torque. The max power I got was about 619 to the wheels, horsepower, uh, which is, you know, roughly like 35 more horsepower to the wheels. It's not bad, but I was expecting a little more. The thing that was very interesting, but also slightly alarming to me, was the torque spiked around 2,500 RPM, and then came down a little bit, and then it dropped off after 4,000 RPM all the way down to 6,000, where it kind of reaches the stock numbers. When I drove it, right when I stomped on the gas pedal, my head just went back, and I was like catapulted. It was like a rocket. That's why I kept saying, I was like, wow, what a big difference. And yeah, it is a huge difference. So I'm probably gonna have to go back to Motor Max and hopefully we can fine tune this Tech Tech tune so it's a little bit more stable. This is where the dyno comes in and it becomes really, really helpful as well as educational. And it can tell how healthy your car is and how good of a tune you have. I wanna end the vlog by thanking Tech Tech and I wanna thank Motor Max for all their support. Thank you guys so much for helping me with the tune. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Stick with us and hopefully we'll figure everything out. Peace. The next day later. The vlog is not over everyone. I am back. I actually took the car back to Motor Max and they contacted Tech Tech and we got another tune. Now, I told them about my concerns and they were very, very helpful. And right now, from the second dyno that we did today, torque is a little bit less than what we had before. Sort of a perfectionist. I just wanted the graph and the car to be very, very safe, but we get really good performance, which is what we have. We have amazing torque. These torque numbers are crazy. I'm basically at 102.5 kg of torque. That is ridiculous. To be honest, I don't need all that. And I'm probably gonna detune it a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys what the F90 M5 is capable of. And it's crazy. As you can tell, there's a huge spike right here. This is my area of concern. Um, we did put a hose on in the front, as you can tell. So from the ECU and from the dyno, we can tell how much boost it's actually putting down. Boost spikes around 2600 RPM. And that makes me a little bit worried. I don't think it's too much of a concern, but like I said, it's got very, very powerful numbers and the horsepower. We gain a little more horsepower at the higher end of the RPM range. Uh, we are at 635 right now. Before we were at 619. So we did gain a little bit of horsepower, which is what I wanted. I think that overall I'm very satisfied. It seems like a very, very powerful tune. This car has so much potential. So all in all, everything that we've used has given the car way more power, and I am very stoked. I'm gonna get this beast on the road, and we're gonna make a dope-ass vlog for you guys, and I am going to be comparing this car to an E63S that has also been tuned. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Stay tuned, stay boosted. Peace.